It should do the trick. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Dalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. 
Wherever you go, whatever you do, Stalbar will be with you. <coughs> I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door in this. I better come with you. The Vulcans put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Vulcans on Terrace who can get you past you. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor Monster isn't still there. There used to be a Rancor Monster in its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there.
buddy. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorreans smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look a little bit scruffy. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair's getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. <laughs> Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best-looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. Okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism, and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. Didn't work. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, 
Let me get that energy field down for you. about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Vulgars were smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle it. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Vulgars at the best of times, and when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave them alone, you poor slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Vulcans didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Vulcan a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. <laughs> Zalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand downwind when you're talking? Anyway, I knew those vocals would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. It doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. He and Zalbar like to live in the present. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother. 
fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business again, okay? No one's gonna see this mission. Yo! <laughs> 
help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Vulkers. I hate them.
Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens, getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. What? I I've never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I think I could find my way out of here. I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! I, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me!
Tawa mamulira, king kunjo peshak. No ba mulira ji? Joni yu turung ji, mi eta dia. Naji nek. Ba mulira, slimo anga kunbis king. Tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kunbis king, ba mulira. Juta kum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai tao donga tulpa da bong molia gando da nago chuchut moga shampoopa bola wana kachi chu ai tao donga in kin kuno ba muli rachi ta donga ai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang in kotu tulpa da bong molia gando da nago chuchut kachi chu kachi chu ai tao donga. In kin kuno ba muli rachi kun slima podonga. Chipetwa na ni bobo, tonk na bung. Kuya mi juice kajita na ipatoga ya fulki kukula jiti. Kawanta bist yu bong konki pampa, ching palachis kamuli. Conti Gianni, Mulira Ashon. Chi vedo una nipo. Chi puna? Puna nai cacciu. Chi vanno mulina na tuana. Don chi vanno. Conti Gianni, Mulira Ashon Turun, Unni Patoga on. Oh. <laughs> 
Didn't work. Yeah? Gotcha. Darn it. 
Yes? Ами джуз качита, най-патога я фулки, кукула джити. Кауана бота, а айот тагуа. Канки дорати кун муата ти манай. Брешик стол тат инжин фун гадин. It was never yours to begin with. Кава дум па кун па ия мока паата. 
Wana chik yongi? Wana vota kunti tariti? Chi... Kachi chu aitha haudunga. Yin kin kuno ba muli ra chikun. Slima podono. Tonga bug sham uninong? Wanga kun bist king ba muli ra. Chuni yun tun jiji aitha doana. Kava volpa muljui. What? You can't be- Jashank Pogra Hulwan Chiska Nichu. Achuba Chi- No, that- that's not- Mana Mana Tota! Aku Chik- They- they- Shag Jiki- Well, yeah, some of them were, but- Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo. But- but Gad- Kipuna! Bun- You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gadden dies, he's only- We eat a nadana itia. What are you? Smilia. Achuta. No problem. Didn't work.
Back, a worlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? Can it be true? Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gandar right away. True kill, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gandar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakghul-infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. No, Upworlder. I cannot ask that. 
The journey will take many, many weeks, and those who make the journey cannot return. That was the final secret of the Promised Land. When the colony was created, it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could never leave again. This was to ensure secrecy on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. What can I do for you? I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. It's complicated. Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive, showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way.